Our official reading is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians, beginning at verse, verse 1. Paul wrote these words to the church in Corinth, which I have often said a couple of times is the one appointment that I would, would cry if I got. But Paul said these words to the Corinthians as he wrote the second letter to them. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. To the mind of God of this age has blinded. We do not believe that the light of the gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ the Lord, and ourselves your bondservants for Jesus' sake. For it is that God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in urging us is that the excellency of the power of God may be of God, the power may be of God and not of us. 
Sherman. And the gentleman and lady sitting next to us, he, the gentleman said, excuse me, ma'am, I heard you say you didn't have to give a circuit tomorrow. I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, well, I'm a lay preacher. And I said, really, Rick, what church are you at? He said, all saints. <laughs>
to her offering as you need these
So I take us back to that night before Jesus was arrested. And he was with his disciples, and he said to them, I believe in you. And they didn't want to hear because they didn't understand that his goal would bring more grace and more glory than you could imagine. But it was the night of Pentecost. It was also the night of Jesus. And Jesus was with his disciples. And he said, after the supper, this is the bread of my body, broken for you. And every Every time you place the piece to your mouth, remember me. The supper was over. He took the cup and he said to them, This is the blood of the New Testament. Shed for you. And shed for many. You have to remember this is not an exclusive table. All those who come with clean hearts are welcome. And so, just to make sure our hearts are where we are comfortable with coming and partaking of this meal, let us pray this prayer of confession. Gracious God, we offer you the gift.
Yeah. 